All right, so let's see how much you actually understand about compound interest. Because if you know a good amount about compound interest, well, this should be a very easy question to answer. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. So can you grow $3,500 into $8,500 in nine years if you invest this money at a 7% annual compound interest rate? All right, now you will need a calculator and a formula to solve this problem. So feel free to pause the video and uh, get your calculator and research what formula you need. But if you think you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Now, I'm going to read the problem again, but uh, keep in mind here that the answer is either yes or no. So if you're not quite sure, go ahead and take a guess. But what I'm really interested in uh, here is your ability to crunch the numbers, right? So I want you to do the mathematics to support your conclusion. All right, so one more time, can you grow $3,500 into $8,500 in nine years if you invest this money at a 7% annual compound interest rate? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is no. So uh, seven years, or excuse me, nine years is not enough time to take our $3,500 and turn it into or grow it to $8,500. We will need more time at this annual compound interest rate. All right, now, if you got this right and you did all the math to support your conclusions, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. And you'd be like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm not even sure what formula to use. Well, that's the whole purpose behind this video. And uh, if there's one thing that you want to understand when it comes to uh, mathematics or, you know, just your personal finances is how to use proper formulas when it comes to investing, right? Especially things like compound and simple interest. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So here is our problem. And as usual, with any math word problem, you always want to read it at least three times. Like you got to understand really what the problem's asking uh, before you make any moves. But here, okay, if we don't understand annual compound interest, we won't even understand the problem. And when it comes to compound interest and, and uh, interest problems in general, there's all different uh, sorts of interest um, uh, models that you can follow. You could have simple interest, okay, which uh, uh, there's a particular formula for. You can have annual compound interest, this type of thing right here. Let's just kind of abbreviate this, annual compound interest. This has a particular formula. Then you can have something called continuous compound interest, which uses another formula. Okay, so you got to be able to identify what formula they're going to be using. So I'm going to show you the formula for annual compound interest right now. We'll uh, make sure you understand it. And uh, of course, I just kind of went over the concepts and then we'll apply this formula to solve this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about compound interest. So this is your basic compound interest formula. Now, uh, we're talking about annual compound interest. In other words, at the end of one year, you're going to get paid your interest. Okay, and hopefully we understand the concept of interest, right? You put in a principal amount into some sort of vehicle. It stays there and uh, However, your interest is accumulating. You can have simple interest or compound interest. At the end of one year, you get paid. But that's not the only way you can get uh, paid your interest uh, when something is compounding. You can have things compound quarterly, biannually. There's all different sorts of rates. But we're going to keep it kind of simple with this particular problem. And I'm only saying this because uh, this is not the only formula that you may uh, need to understand, especially for those of you that might be taking like a second year algebra course or some sort of financial math, you'll need to know other formulas as well. But this is our basic general compound interest formula. All right, so let's go and see how it works. So we invest a principal amount, right? You go to the bank and you're like, hey, I wanna make some money on my money. I'm gonna plug in some money or put in some money into my financial institution, whatever that might be. That money that you put in, okay, that you saved up and you're going to invest, that's called the principal, okay? Now, the money you hope to earn, your total amount that you're going to get out 
is this uh, variable A. Okay, that's the total amount you're going to earn. So this is going to be your principal plus the interest you make. All right, so the formula is A equals P times, this is a parenthesis right here. Let me go ahead and just uh, remove this stuff. So it's uh, A equals P parentheses 1 plus R. Now, R is the interest rate expressed as a decimal. Now, because we're talking about annual compound interest, uh, T up here, okay, of course, notice this is in the exponent. So this, i.e., this is an exponential function. This is the time in years. So, you know, of course, I could have made this problem a lot more interesting. I could have said, uh, can we grow this money in uh, nine years and three months? You know, we're not going to do that. We're going to, because uh, there's enough kind of going on here. But this is the basic compound interest formula that you need to understand. All right, so if you're saying, okay, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I got it. Let's go ahead and use this to figure this problem out. Well, I think that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here is our formula. And now we're going to have to match up uh, the information in the problem to, okay, what's the principal? What's the total? What's our interest rate? And what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for time in years, okay? How many... Um, how long is it going to take? Now, we would like to see, okay, we hope, let's back, matter of fact, let me show it to you this way. We would hope that we could grow this uh, $3,500 into $8,500 in nine years at this particular interest rate. We just don't know that yet, okay? So we're going to go ahead and actually see how long, okay, uh, using compound interest, it's going to take us to grow this amount of money into this amount of money. It may not be nine years. It could very well be longer. And of course it is because the answer is no, we can't do this in nine years at this uh, interest rate. And that's really what this problem is about. So, uh, you know, really I can kind of rephrase the problem. How long will it take to grow $3,500 into $8,500 at a 7% annual compound interest rate? So our variables here, our principal amount is $3,500 our interest rate is 7%. Our total amount here is 8,500. And we're looking for T or how long, what is the time in years? Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in all this lovely information into our uh, formula. So again, our total amount 8,500, our principal 3,500 are our interest rate, but we have to express our interest rate as a decimal. So this is 7%. And 7% uh, as a decimal is 0 0.07. So we have to use 0 0.07, not 7%. This is a, a real kind of classic mistake uh, that a lot of students uh, uh, make. Okay, And then, of course, time in years uh, will be what we're going to be solving for. We don't know what uh, that time is to make this true. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in all the information here. So we have... Our amount, 8,500, is equal to our principal, 3,500 uh, times 1 plus the interest rate, 7% as a decimal, 0 0.07. We are solving for the variable T. All right, so now we're down to 8,500 is equal to 3,500 times 1.07 to the T power. We need to solve for this variable in the exponent. Here we have an exponential equation. How do we solve these exponential equations? Well, you're definitely going to need your calculator. And if you're looking at this, you're like, oh boy, I don't even like this problem because there's too many things going on. But uh, anyways, listen, don't panic. I'm going to show you exactly how to solve this. And this is really important to know how to solve, especially again, if you are taking any sort of algebra course. Okay. Now, if you didn't understand the setup, but you want to go ahead and try to solve this problem, well, maybe you want to pause the video and work on this. Before we continue on, please take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube and make sure to hit that bell notification as well. Now, if you really wanna learn math from me, my best work will always be in my full main courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to the problem. All right, so we got 8,500 is equal to 3,500 times 1.07t. We need to solve for this variable t. We're solving an exponential equation. Okay, so an exponential equation uh, because the variable is in the exponent spot. Remember, if you have a power like 2 to the third power, this little number up here is the exponent. 2 is the base. The entire thing is the power. Now, if you need addition, if you really need help with this, and you're not confused with this math, check out my Algebra 2 course uh, or my pre-calculus course. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. That will definitely help you out. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel 
as well. But what we need to recognize is this. When you have an exponential uh, equation, okay, exponential equation, we need to use logarithms, okay? And if you have a logarithmic equation, we need to use exponents because exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverses of one another, okay? This is a very, very important uh, uh, concept. And of course, I don't want to make this video any longer than it has to be and get into a full explanation of logarithms, but this is stuff that you absolutely need to know. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we need to isolate this uh, base or this um, power part of the problem. And we want to have a power or an exponent rather, like two to the X is equal to just some number, okay? So right here, we have this 3,500 in front of this uh, 1.07 to the T power. So we're going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 3,500. And when we do that, we're going to get 2.428. Now I did round off a bit here. Uh, so that will um, have an impact on our final answer. So one uh, 2.428, this really should be approximately, but I'll just leave it equal uh, for the purposes of this video. So 8,500 divided by 3,500, 2.428 is equal to 3,500 divided by 3,500 is 1. So now we have uh, 1.07 to the T power. Okay, so now we need to solve for T, and this is where we get to use logarithms, which are, of course, so much fun. And if you're not familiar with logarithms, if you look on your calculator and you see that LOG button, well, that's what uh, logarithms are about. Extremely important stuff in math. But what we want to do here is now take the log of both sides. Okay, the logarithm of both sides. And here we have the log of 2.428. Uh, now, you could just go into your calculator. You'll see that this right here is just a simple decimal. It gets a value, but don't do anything yet. Don't turn this into a, de a decimal. But the real uh, key to solve this problem, we're going to take the log of both sides, is we have this t up in the exponent. Well, we have a property of logarithms that says that if we have something written like this, we could take this t and write it and put it right in front of that log expression. So we're going to drop this uh, exponent down in front of the log. This is really the secret here. Okay. So now I have a number. Remember, this is just a decimal. Uh, is equal to t times another decimal. Of course, this is log 1.07, but this is just a number, okay? So effectively, this problem is very much like 2 is equal to uh, t to the 3 or something, right? This is just a number. It's a basic algebraic equation. So to solve for t, all I have to do is divide uh, 3 uh, by both sides of the equation. In this case, uh, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by this number here, okay? So let's go ahead and show you that work right now. Okay, so we're going to divide both sides of the equation by log 1.07. And you would want to write your work just like this. Okay, don't do anything on your calculator until you get down to this step. Okay, and then break out your calculator and go log 2.428 divided by log 1. Uh, you know, we put this in parentheses, 1.07. And we'll get a decimal or get a number about 13.11. Okay, that's what t is equal to. And remember, this is time in years. So that's how long it's going to take to grow this uh, uh, $3,500 into $8,500. It's going to take about 13 years, a little bit over 13 years. So, of course, that is longer than nine years. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in advanced math, check out these courses right here. So these courses, Algebra 2 and College Algebra, these are effectively the same level of mathematics. So whether you take my Algebra 2 or College Algebra uh, course, you're going to get the same material. Now, if you are further along in math and you need to study like advanced trigonometry and other topics, then check out my pre-calculus course. All right, so I'm going to leave uh, links to all these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.